situation. Thank, Thank you, you for coming, coming to our show. show. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hosting. No, I'm hosting. I'm, but look. Yeah, I have notes. Okay, but mine are colored. Um, oh, um, okay. Um, how about how this about? This is really awkward. Okay, okay. yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. Uh, just take take the first game. Um, Let's vote. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 That was awkward. Um. So, in the spirit of arguing, we are going to start with a game <laughs> of sideline debate. So, can I get uh, Will and? Taylor, they are going to go off the stage for a little Bye bit. Guys. Bye guys! And when they come back, they will be debating for you. They will be, we're going to be trying to get them to guess a phrase for us. So first, I need an adverb ending in L-Y. Royally. Effervescently. Quietly. I heard royally first. We'll start with royally. Okay. Royally. Um, next I need a verb ending in ing. Climbing. I heard climbing first. Royally climbing. Okay, and then I need a noun. Rabbit. Dog. Cat. Okay, something from this side. Winter. Cat. Winters. 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 Royally climbing winters. Okay, are we ready? William Taylor. Come on, man. You guys. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah! 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 Okay, let's start with Will. My fellow Americans, we are here to discuss a problem that is tearing our nation apart. Kings. Kings everywhere. Queens. <laughs> Princes and princesses of the world, Switch. pushing down, forcing down the middle class is what they're doing. They're building a big old house, they're putting roofs on top of them, and they're laying them down like a thick <laughs> spread of butter. The devil's there doing it. Don't stride all down Main Street like the 1%. You gotta, you gotta buckle down and take a deep breath and... Oh, Lordy, I'm getting the vapors. <laughs> Do we really want our country run by someone so vaporous? No. Thank you. When I crown myself president with my king hat or possibly my tiara, my tab, I... Can you understand what I'm trying to say to people today? Yes, preach. Switch. This is a royal load of malarkey right here that my royally, royally. Yes. Yeah. We are royally screwed in this country, and I yeah. won't stand for it. Yeah. Royally climbing the ladder. <laughs> climbing the ladder. Going down the ladder. We're freezing our asses off because oh. The, my, my, opponent, my opponent has turned down our heat in the past few years. We need to make like Nanook, breathe into our hands, and make sure our, our bits don't get cold and fall off. What? I don't feel the need to swear, unlike my opponent, as we are royally climbing the Arctic winds to Antarctica, because that's where the oil is. Yeah! As we're crawling into our igloos of freedom, <laughs> on our four-part plan to rub ourselves. <laughs> what my opponent fails to realize is that there are yetis and Christmas trees out there. We can't steer America, steer America into the Christmas tree or else all the needles will fall off. That's a fire hazard, ladies and gentlemen. My opponent does not realize the plight of the working class. He need, we need to buckle up our boots and make like pilgrims and, and get a big old box of... Get, no, go to a potato sack race. <laughs> Going down the hill until we are at the bottom. Only then can we climb to the top. Switch. A potato sack race? A potato sack's all you're going to wear if you elect him. <laughs> Meanwhile, we have snowy arguments as we watch the crystals fall from the sky. Yes, that's right. Crystals are going to fall from the sky and kill us all. Stop worrying about those other issues. We're all going to be crushed under them as we're super hungry because all they'll be to... And then snowballs will fly at us in a winter wonderland of death. 
snowballs will be flying at us in a winter wonder like giant crystals are gonna kill us ladies and gentlemen my opponent is telling half truths we have to peer through them to see the lies get back to where you once belonged yes go back to the before times dinosaurs and cavemen back even further primordial soup i have three words for you america and they are royally climbing winter <laughs> climb the ladder climb <laughs> Royally is what we're talking about. We're shivering, we're climbing, climbing, climivering, climb ambivalence. We are climbing the ladders made of snow, getting to the top where we're pointing, because it's your fault. It's your fault. <laughs> what my opponent does not grasp is how dangerous this is, this royally climbing winter. I said climbing. You said royally climbing winter. Oh, I didn't know you were a sir. Royally climbing winters, that was fun. So, uh, okay. Um, now we're going to tell you a story. Uh, we're going to try to put this all together, but first we need a little bit of help from you. So can I get, um, what is your favorite type of movie? Action. Uh, action. I heard action first. So we are going to first start off and give you some monologues to uh, work, us, work our way into our story. About action. About action. <laughs> okay. About action. <laughs> so we were just talking about this right before we started the show. Um, Taylor played uh, Hangman up there, and the what it was is Terminator 2: Judgment Day, and I think that is personally the best action movie out there. I mean, it's got robots, it's got metal robots that turn liquid, and it's got a giant truck chase scene and like a <laughs> kiss ant little kid that doesn't care. Language? He's John Connor. Um, I don't want to sit up here and, and just give you a synopsis of the movie, but like when I was a kid, this was like the pinnacle. Like Arnold was the guy. And like I was just like, oh my God, he's the best. Like I want to come with him to live. And so yeah, that's, that's basically what I think about Terminator 2. <clears throat> Uh, my little sister really hated gender roles from an early age, and she refused any time that people would give her, like, a Barbie. Um, so when she was five, for her birthday, she asked for one of the first G.I. Joes that came with, like, fully posable everythings. Um, <laughs> like, really, really fancy. Well, the only one that got the memo for this, like, action-y figure were my parents, and everybody else that came to the birthday party got her, like, one of those uh, Rapunzel Barbies and the Mermaid Barbie with the, with the flipping tail. She got a couple of princess dresses. And she was the angriest little kid that I've ever seen because she was just sitting there clutching her G.I. Joe, glaring at all of her friends for being such horrible people with their prissy little princess dresses. <laughs> Private, get in here. Oh, I am in here, and I am ready to kill the bad guys. Okay, calm down. <laughs> hey, hey. I'm gonna stab you. Thanks. You need to chill out, Private. I'm sorry, Captain. That's right, you say my rank. Yes, it's Captain. Captain. <laughs> Captain. Captain Johansson. That's right, Private Johansson. <laughs> Johansson and Johansson! We're not a team. bad guys! We're not a team. I am your no, commanding we're officer. We're a team! <laughs> <sighs> Gonna kill bad guys. Oh, I have to give you your equipment. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need equipment. I need my bare hands. <laughs> <sighs> and this knife that I've been stabbing the bad guys with. I don't know where you got the knife. Uh, it's a nice knife. I killed a Nazi for it. What? <laughs> yeah. Show <It's> that. <laughs> <laughs> a Nazi! A Nazi! You stabbed me. I'm gonna take this knife. Oh, I'm gonna take that. <laughs> and the Nazi stabbed me in the stomach, and I took oh. it out, and I, uh, yeah, oh. I've lost a lot of blood. Okay, you are not fit for duty. No, I am. No, you're. I mean, you're. 
You don't have, there's no blood in there. Uh, where'd all your blood go? <laughs> I got rid of it to, I sold it to the devil. What? <laughs> Show me that. <laughs> uh, oh, the devil Hi, is a Jim hot Jackson. chick. <laughs> um, just, uh, Take the blood. Oh, okay, so I want. Yep. I'll give you all my blood Can't take if you could give me the strength to kill the bad guys. <laughs> and that's why the plot of Terminator 2 makes no sense. <laughs> see, I would expect that kind of. No, see, they, kind of, they, no, they, no, 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 no. They have to eliminate all the parts of the Terminator, but they forgot his arm in the machine, and so that's what they used to make the Terminator in the first place. But that's the brilliance of it! No, it makes no sense! You gotta destroy the robot, you gotta destroy all the robot. It's like Terminator 2 never happened. This is the worst state I've ever been on. <laughs> Sorry you don't understand the intricacies of sci-fi plot. <laughs> so are we going Dutch? <laughs> I mean, all I had was soup. Yeah, yeah, no, totally. I mean, the waitress... before we watch... <sighs> I get kind of queasy with the robots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, listen, Cheryl, I was, I was really excited to do this, because you seem like a really cool guy, really into well, the nerd really cool stuff. Guy. Yeah, <laughs> really cool guy. Um, I was just expecting, like, some reciprocation of some type, like, agreeing with me, or I'm allowing me to talk. not gonna agree with talk. you when you're an idiot. Oh. After you, Lady Devil. <laughs> I just thought, since we've been business partners, we can get to know each other better in a more intimate setting. Okay, not, not my normal routine, but... <laughs> oh, Lady Devil, you what a charmer. <laughs> you know, um, when... You asked to be my business partner in exchange for your soul. I wasn't expecting any intimacy to go along with it. Well, uh, the thing... Not really my style. The thing is, uh, I gave you my soul and my blood, but I have so much soul and passion that... Uh, I've seen your soul. Yeah, it's sexy, right? <laughs> Hi. Welcome to TGI Chili Bees, home of the Wahoo Burger. You order it, will it say Yahoo? What can I, I get think, you? I think we need just a couple more minutes. I haven't looked at the menu That's yet. That's cool. This is my favorite place. You have no idea how many heart attacks come from this place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, straight. what a... Oh, I love that sardonic <laughs> jocularity of yours, Lady Devil. Um, so, uh, I couldn't help but notice how cute you are. <laughs> I am naked, oh god! <laughs> A hammer. Wow. Thanks, Dad. No problem. Now that hammer, let me tell you about that hammer. Because that hammer has been passed down from your great-grandfather from Ireland. Oscar-winning <laughs> moment. <laughs> dad, I have to tell you something. What is that? You can tell me anything. I'm your dad. I don't want a hammer. What do you want? I want the new Magical Girl Nanoka figure. <laughs> I need to live out my dreams, Dad. But, okay. What if we put like a wig on the hammer? <laughs> That's a start. And then we take the hammer and build a birdhouse with the wig on it. Can we put leggings on the birdhouse? <laughs> I didn't think that I was gonna have a son that wasn't gonna be a builder. <laughs> it means so much to me. Just let me show you my world. Okay. I don't know if I'm ready I've for I've got this. the show on Blu-ray. <laughs> Start to watch magical girls together. <laughs> so then he starts 
talking to me about movies. And he asks me to pay for halfsies. Well, that like, seems fair, I mean. <laughs> How was the movie? It was, it was awesome. It was really great. There were robots and killing, and he was like, hey, it's not a good sci-fi plot. And I just, I don't, Carol, I don't understand how I can be with somebody who seriously thinks that The Matrix beats out the Terminator series. Like, oh, honey, it kind of does. <laughs> <laughs> Johansson! <laughs> she doesn't love me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it hurts in my chest. <laughs> uh, like, you know, like when you're listening to a song and they sing a word and it's like, you're not alone, but in your heart, you know you are. <laughs> he just cries so much. <laughs> um, yeah, so he was in here the other day, too. I mean, I, he was I'm asking not really about one you. to back out of deals, so I can't, you know, undo the whole business partner thing. Well, let's take a look at the contract. Why don't you bust that out, and we can see if there's any, you know, concrete details on... <laughs> All right. Um, no, that's pretty ironclad. Yeah. yeah it's you, with his own blood. I know. You definitely have to go on another date with him. <laughs> uh, your clothes. Share them with me? <laughs> Share? <laughs> Like, you're not using all those pants. <laughs> Inner monologue! <laughs> I made cutoffs with my bare hands. Wow, that's an amazing skill. We could use you in the, uh, yeah. Okay, that may... Now I feel like I, you're too expo... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I mean, I'm more covered. I'm from the future. I'm from now. <laughs> what is... Th what is that like? Oh, it's a pretty good. It seems nice. There's no bats. <laughs> um... Okay, so I'm you and your friend Jennifer. We're gonna play the dolls. Yeah. Cause you're my son. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> Look, it's such, such a cute handbag. Oh Thank God. you. Maybe we should go out to the yard and do yard work. <laughs> Dad, ruining it. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, let's start over. Okay, I am Princess Jellybean, and I am from the Magical Mountain, correct? From the Magical Forest. Okay, Forest. <laughs> okay. Did you not, did you not I watch read the, show? the pamphlet. Skimmed it. <laughs> right, one more. It's that beautiful morning! Yeah, it is! That's a great handbag! Thank you! Man, I really love your handbag! Maybe after we can work on the car! <laughs> okay. Dead Katsy. Okay. So, you know, like, just when you're watching a movie and the movie... Did you do this for me? Yep. <laughs> yeah, I killed, I killed the Nazi. That's so sweet. You know, I didn't think we had much of them left. No, no, we do. But you found a surprise. Joe Manson, Private Joe Manson, Nazi killer. <laughs> I gotta find a form for this. 
So, Lady Devil, I killed the last of the Nazis, and now I'm on my way to kill the Draculas. <laughs> Show me that! Ah, <laughs> oh, Draculas. Uh, hello! What's up? Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I wasn't prepared for this. Ah! So I got turned into a Dracula. <laughs> um, you know, I mean, that's okay. I already had your soul. Maybe. So. I don't, they, they can't touch that. I don't know. It's ironclad. I don't know if this is going to work out. But. I mean, we're from two different worlds. <laughs> Are you serious? Well, I'm a Dracula now. And Oscar winning moment. <laughs> You're a lady devil. I'm a creature of a night. You're the creature of an underworld. That's kind of similar, but it's so different. <laughs> it's actually really much, very much the same. Do you know how difficult it was for me to develop a feeling? <laughs> Do you know how difficult it was for me to lift up that Dracula? <laughs> <laughs> Terminator. I'll do anything for pants. It's <laughs> a good answer. Scene. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, <laughs> good, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, so now uh, we're going to do that again. Um, but before we do that, we're going to play a game that we like to call Mad Liberation. Uh, and in this, you, some of you wrote down suggestions for phrases, problems, and locations. Well, now we're going to do a simple scene, but to add a sort of twist to it, um, our players are going to grab the lines that you wrote down and incorporate them into the scene. So, uh, to do that, I'm going to need a suggestion. Can I get a suggestion for something that you typically do on a Sunday evening. I heard something from, I'm going to take a risk, I couldn't really hear you, but. Cut down cherry trees. Okay, so on Sunday evenings, this beautiful woman here uh, okay. cut, cuts down cherry trees. So your suggestion is cutting down cherry trees. I'm glad you told me. Me? What choice did I have? I know, it's out in the front yard. I would have noticed eventually. <laughs> <laughs> it's just this teen pregnancy is getting out of control. <laughs> You're pregnant? <laughs> what do you think was on the front lawn? <laughs> <laughs> I read that. <laughs> All wrong. <laughs> wow, so are you going to keep it or. You know what happened last time? It had melting teeth. <laughs> but he's got your teeth now. I know, strong American teeth. American. You're right, you're right. It's what if it has AIDS? <laughs> I hadn't even considered that. <laughs> I mean, I thought with the melting teeth, we could take care of it, but AIDS is pretty serious. I sh yeah, you sh hi. Say hi. That's what she said. 
<laughs> I, I just wanted to tell you that your uh, that your cherry tree's gone. It's gone. Uh, yeah, just doing the neighborly thing, you know. We said it's a Bermuda. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't need it here anymore. I invite myself in. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys look like you're having a fun conversation about... I can't even believe you're here. Well, Jester's I, I, is so far away. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is, but, but that's my other home. Why did you come Oh, here? two homes. Well, I came here for women. <laughs> She's already pregnant! <laughs> well, you, you know what... She doesn't need more pregnant. You know what they say about Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, right? <laughs> I do. They say... Snow White's house is a pretty good place to go. <laughs> that is exactly what they say. They're very into Disney movies. Yes, they are. Maybe we should just forget about this teen pregnancy. Let's... Let's go to Paris. <laughs> Look, you can't just run to Paris every time you get pregnant. Yeah, I don't even have a part in this conversation. Honestly, I feel like, is it because I'm a woman? <laughs> well, you came here for the women. <laughs> I did. I came here for the women because I am a woman. <laughs> Secure in my gender. You know what else is the problem? And this is a big problem. Mitt Romney is president. <laughs> And <laughs> liberation does not endorse any political opinions that happen through <laughs> Okay. Leave it out there so we can wrap it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, 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 good. Um, so we are going to do another long form for you. We're going to tell you another story. But this time, we, we are letting you guys have some of the power. So I gave a few of you some paddles. You heard us using some calls um, during our first long form. And now you guys have a few of them. So who has show me that? Right there. So if you want to hold that up, whenever you yell out, show me that, we will have to stop what we're doing and show you what we just said. Yes. Hi. Okay. Hi. Okay. Yell it loud. <laughs> yes. And if you have Oscar winning moment, Oscar winning moment, if you hold that up and yell out Oscar winning moment, then we will have to get really dramatic with what we are doing. Um, and if you have inner monologue right up there, then we will have to stop what we're doing and come forward and tell you what we are thinking in our head. So I encourage you to pass those around. Please only yell it out if you have the paddle in your hand so it doesn't get too crazy. And am I missing anything? Mike. Pass around. I think oh, yes, know. pass them around. Please pass them around so that as many people as possible can get a turn with those things. Okay, so um, we need a suggestion to start telling you some stories again. Star Wars. Yeah, well, I didn't Star Trek. ask yet. I would like a suggestion of what you are planning on being for Halloween. Batman! Red alarm! Red alarm! Red alarm! Red alarm! Red alarm. Red alarm. Nick Fury. Riddler. Okay, Nick Fury is the suggestion. That's the one I heard. <laughs> so I am tempted to tell you all about who Nick Fury is. Um, when I was a kid, actually my first experience uh, when I was a kid uh, of it being introduced to who Nick Fury is was during the Spider-Man animated television show. And yes, thank you. It was a fantastic show. It was on in the 90s. I was in first or second grade. Um, so close to mid-90s. And um, Spider-Man's fighting the chameleon. He's like, take that chameleon. You're the horse. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hate you. But like, how do you fight the chameleon? The chameleon could be anybody. And the chameleon takes the place of Peter Parker, but Peter Parker's Spider-Man. Uh, chameleon takes the place of Spider-Man. So, but Spider-Man's Spider-Man. Uh, and I am rambling, and I will get to my point. And it just ends. This, the episode ends, and Spider-Man takes down uh, the chameleon, who has Nazi ties, actually. I'm not just tying it into the last story. The chameleon has Nazi ties. And Nick Fury is a now Nazi hunter. Uh, he's also this cool guy. He has an eye patch. Um, in, the, in the original comics, he was a white guy. In the new comics, he's a black guy. It's very confusing. 
Um, there's, there's really uh, no explanation. Um, anyway, I need to go. I'm so, so like sorry. Said, Nick Fury has an eye patch. I had an eye patch for about a week because I had surgery on my eye when I was like 10. Anyway, think about eye patch. What? Why is that sad? All right. So the thing about eye patches is that you can fall into three categories when you have an eye patch. One, obviously, pirate. Two is James Bond supervillain, and three is sex offender. <laughs> there is no in between, especially when you're a ten-year-old boy. <laughs> I'm a uh, pirate! Okay. <laughs> I had to check. Yeah, let's, uh... You know what, hold on. Just pirate, right? Just let me... 100% pirate, not another name, thing. please? What? Last name. Arbuckle. <laughs> like, like a pirate R? Like A-R? Yeah, uh... Just type in A and then try a couple different R's. You'll find it eventually. Okay. Um... But absolutely a pirate, not James Bond. Ah, <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, you stuck up on me. Oh, oh. I have one too. <laughs> Sex yeah. How far would you say we are from a school right now? In yards. Um, yards? Yeah, well, in yards. <laughs> Probably a joke. But seriously, I do need to know because, because little known law, pirates have to live more than 200 yards from a school. Oh, it was. <laughs> I don't know what to do with our son. He's been watching cartoons since 8. Since Tuesday morning. <laughs> Good thing he went to the bathroom by himself. Yeah. <laughs> last time I had to take him. Show me that. <laughs> hey, Jim, when's the last time you uh, went to the restroom? Five minutes ago. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Can you want to it? Just, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to cripple his growing sense of self, like those books talk about. The thing is, it's all reruns now, too. Inner monologue, the kid. <laughs> Batman's my favorite. And and the part where uh, Nick Fury, uh, Sp Nick Fury says, "Yeah, great job, Spider-Man," but he doesn't really say it. But it kind of is like he said. <laughs> you ever get the feeling that sometimes he's just not himself anymore? I don't know, it's like there's like a 20-something live-alone geek in there. <laughs> okay, welcome to the Spider-Man Club, where we talk about how Spider-Man is the coolest. The Batman's pretty cool, but this is not the Batman Club, this is the Spider-Man Club. He's got it! I thought you were catching up on all of the episodes of Spider-Man. I got through three seasons. Um, my parents... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't see that in the cartoon. Universe. I didn't see that in the cartoon. Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't see that in the cartoon. <laughs> Inner monologue, <laughs> acrobatic Spider-Man. <laughs> I'm gonna get the most smooches. <laughs> gonna get all the smooches. Cause I'm sexy Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> First order of business. <laughs> we need to order costumes. You mean we need to make our costumes? We need to make our costumes so we can be just like Spider-Man. Yeah. We're not ordering those things. That no. would not be authentic. Oh. No, it would not. Guys, this all oh, my neck. 
Oh, welcome to the first Batman Club. <laughs> <laughs> our main goal is to get those Spider-Man kids. Yeah, we're here because our son is in the Spider-Man Club, and we just, yeah. we just need him out. I hate that Spider-Man Club. Yeah, <laughs> so can you just, I don't know, you're, you're like Batman, just swing in and pick him up and drop him off at our house. 12, yeah. 15. Moment. <laughs> <laughs> Batman! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's basically like how we want it to happen. Yeah, it just seems just like a pretty tall order. Just, yeah. no, just drop, drop them off in like time to the mailbox. I do it for chocolate milk. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the club. You're a replacement for that traitor. This is I, the Spider-Man club. I got web in my eye. <laughs> I am so jealous. <laughs> I, I know. It's cool. That is so cool. Hey, Terry. Oh, hey. Venom. <laughs> Thank That's you for, right. Thank you for calling me my spider name. That is right. Oh my god, you guys are the coolest. We know. I'm cooler. New choice. <laughs> We don't know that. Was bitten by a radioactive spider oh. for real. <laughs> <laughs> yup, yep, that happened. Uh, now I. <laughs> oh my god. Did you hear? Terry has cancer now. <laughs> Too much radiation. Show me that. <laughs> Come on. Come on, fight me! Um, no. Oh. Uh, that seems inappropriate. Uh, but I do have your test results back. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can say that you don't have superpowers. Oscar winning moment? You might want to sit down for this. You have super cancer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Spider-Man. <laughs> hey. What's up? I missed you. Show me that. <laughs> I had a whole memory butterfly thing. Are you serious? For you had a memory butterfly thing? Totally. At first I thought it was just going to be a memory pupa, but it blossomed. <laughs> That's beautiful. Thank you. I'm, I'm a poet, too. You knew that. We're roommates. Do you want to dance? <laughs> I'm so glad you said yes to that. <laughs> Yes, uh, we found your little boy. Uh, Oscar winning moment. Did you really hire a Batman to kidnap her? I'm staying with Batman. Uh, no, you're not. He's a registered sex offender. You are the worst New choice. He is, um, he is a, uh, what do you call a bad parent? Um, <laughs> He is a, Let's just say new choice. He uh he is a, he endangers children in the form of robins. <laughs> Show me that. <laughs> okay. I know that building looks tall. But you're totally a robin. Can you totally, can fly can it. <laughs> Go get him. Go back! <laughs> Well, at least he's being active now. <laughs> I just, I don't want to go back. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to give your son sword hands uh, <laughs> as a result of the broken bones from falling off that building. How will I be nobody able gives, to fly? Nobody gives my son sword hands. Yeah, well, you're lucky now. We have to go to the witness protection program, and we're all moving to the gladiator ring. <laughs> Why don't you 
show me that. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh! Oh, my own seed. <laughs> seed means child sometimes. I'm saying it because I'm sad. I'm getting too old for this stuff. <laughs> So you think you can give me sore hands and get away with it? How does it work without batteries? <laughs> I can't lift my arms! Yeah, your arms are battery powered. No! Well, I'm not a doctor, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a fun hospital. <laughs> now, Mrs. Abramson, I'm not a doctor, but I was bitten by a radioactive doctor. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> well, doctor, what do you die? What the hell? Oh, give me a Go back. <laughs> so I think your son's prognosis is very good. How good? Oscar winning moment. How good, man! <laughs> I've been Dr. Adjacent for over 20 years. And I've never seen a prognosis so promising. A promise gnosis. <laughs> Your son's going to live! Live! <laughs> Ain't this fun, son, recovering together? <laughs> After you stabbed me and you had robot sword hands? This is... Yes, I need a battery! This is, this is smokier than a speakeasy in Mountain Doom. <laughs> Shut up, man! One. The usual for me, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think the meds have really got to you, Dad. Think so? I'll give you some more. Where's the where's that? Sweetie, you're gonna live! Nurse! No, mama! Mama! You're gonna live, sweetie! The woman who wouldn't let you watch cartoons! Angry. Why would you bring that up? Nice, I want battery! Why the hell would you bring that up? It's, it's the morphine. Ah! Oh! <laughs> um. Look, I need you to know for real. Oh, is that supposed to be funny? <laughs> no, I just need to know are you really a pirate? <laughs> I just winked. <laughs> Is that supposed to be funny? Your monologue, guy on the right. Your right or our right? Stage left. Okay. <laughs> Not too sure if I trust this guy and his winking. I mean, if he can wink, think of what else he can do. <laughs> Maybe I can convince you. Okay. By giving you a good price on corn. <laughs> Only a true pirate would be able to give a real price, a true price, a good price on corn. Reverse. Only a pirate would be able to give a real, true, good price on corn. Forward. Only a pirate would be able to give a real, good, true price on corn. That's right! A buccaneer! Thank you! We are going to play one more game for you. It is called Objection. I need everybody in the line here. How this works. 
to come forward one at a time, tell you a story, and if someone behind them objects to something that they say, they're going to yell objection and say why. If you think that it's a good reason, then you're going to cheer and be Woo! really loud and yes, yeah. just like yeah. that. Yeah. If you think that it's kind of lame and you want the other person to be able to keep telling their story, then you're going to boo. <laughs> Oh, thank you. The last person up here after five minutes is the winner of this game. So, give me a suggestion for um, your favorite thing to do in the fall. Wheelchair Olympics. Leap jumping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, leap jumping. Oh, leap jumping. And Mike, start. Okay. So, uh, something I'm doing this fall is I am actually raking up leaves uh, for an old couple. And I've run into a slight problem. Yeah, they're really, they are, they're wonderful. Objection, that clearly pandering. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give you actually something here to boo me. Um, I, I didn't mean for this to happen, and I'm still trying to work on a solution, but the problem is, um, she gave me money to do it. The wife, the old, the old Objection, woman. trying to con old people. I'm not. <laughs> Give him, give him a second, he's kind of right, it's what's happening. Um, and she said, she said, my husband, she basically said my husband's cheap and he's not paying you enough and he's paying me more than enough. So I'm, both, I'm going to pay you and he's going to keep paying you. Don't tell him. Objection! You are robbing old people. Once upon a time, there was a talking leaf pile. A leaf pile, yes? Leaf pile is not a multi-form object. What? The leaf pile's name was Lawrence. Objection, Lawrence is no name for a leaf pile. So my favorite thing to do in the fall is to rake leaves and jump in them in a leaf pile. I can't talk. Um, Objection! You can't talk! <laughs> Lawrence was also a crime fighter. He would throw himself into a plastic bag and then hurl himself at criminals. Objection! Lawrence would suffocate! <laughs> uh, so I'm, a, I'm in a bit of a pickle because they're so nice and they're so sweet. And they got, every time I'm out there, every time, sometimes I cut the lawn, and every time I'm out there, he comes out there and he hands me money, and then he talks to me for 20 minutes about his life, and it's so nice, and there are always stories like, oh, you youngster, you, you probably haven't started reflecting on life yet. Uh, but Objection, why are you raking leaves for Sean Connery? <laughs> Okay, so one day he sees a purse snatcher in the magical kingdom where he lives. It's obvious he lives in a magical kingdom. He's a talking pile of leaves. And the purse snatcher is, of course, a leprechaun. And that's not, that's not racist. Objection! <laughs> Leprechauns are too short to reach a purse. <laughs> so Lawrence throws himself off the roof he's watching from. And Objection not suited for age group. Woo! Objection! We passed that bridge on. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> so one time when I was really little, I was raking leaves, and uh, we let our leaf pile sit out for a long time, and I discovered that slugs Objection. get on. Gross. <laughs> so I'm getting at. Slugs will accumulate on the bottom of leaves in leaf piles. So if you leave them out for more than like a week, you jump in them, you're gonna get covered in slugs. This is what my sister did. And she was so freaked out, she ran inside. There's like two slugs on her arm. She runs inside, and being the genius scientist she is, she pours salt on them. <laughs> Nothing happens. She pours more salt on them. She empties three salt shakers, pours them all on her arm. Nothing's happening. <laughs> Objection. Objection! You run out of things to say. I did! <laughs> Lawrence, in a non-suicidal fashion, throws himself. It's not going to kill him. He leaves. He lands on the leprechaun, and it doesn't really hurt that much because what a leaf weighs what quarter of an ounce. So, but it's actually clearly making this up as you go along. Uh, so, Doctor Sean Connery is reflecting on life, and he's like, "I know we're giving you too much money." 
He's Objection, like, what happened I'm to the accent? <laughs> <laughs> so when you're ranking leagues, you want to jump in on Objection, I promise to bring the accent back. <laughs> I know we're giving you too much money. <laughs> but the thing is, when you get to my age, you realize that you don't need to work. I've worked my whole life, and I missed out on a bunch of great moments with my kids. But now, they're all gone and they're moved away. But I have the love of a beautiful woman. I have enough food to eat, and I have a warm bed. So I'm more than happy to Objection! I feel this warming my heart, and I don't want it. <laughs> Spine is broken. <laughs> Objection! Clearly, you just said it didn't hurt him. Oh! 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 I'm Mike. And I am Katie. You, you can, can check, check us out, out online at Ad Liberation. Oh, Ad Liberation. <laughs> <laughs> on on Twitter, Twitter at Ad Lib Improv and, and on, on Facebook. Our, our next show is Thursday, November 1st at 7.30 p.m. at Jester's Comedy Club. <laughs> we have Open, open practice. practice if you'd like, you'd like to try your hand, your hand at, what at what we do. <laughs> it's this Sunday, <laughs> October 14th in Lily 3410. So come give it a shot. Give it a shot. <laughs> uh, thanks again. You've been a wonderful, wonderful audience. audience.